This is Stacey McKibben with the Master Communicator Podcast, where CEOs, senior leaders, and C-suite executives share their advice. It's six questions in nine minutes because the best leaders know how to share their ideas concisely and quickly. Let's jump right in. Question number one. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. Hi, I'm Mark Snyderman. I'm a lawyer and a disruptive entrepreneur. I like to help mid-sized and small businesses grow and mitigate risk. I really challenge the status quo when I push industries to be disrupted. My law firm is a subscription model service for outside general counsel services. Uh, we use technology to keep our overhead very low. It's a disruptive way to do reasonable fixed costs for our clients. I love that. How long have you guys been doing that? Uh, we're about four years in right now. Fantastic. Well, I'll look forward to hearing some of your insights as it, as it comes through some of the different lenses that you've been able to wear over your tenure. Question number two for you. Um, what's the best thing about leading people from your perspective? From my perspective, you know, leading people, it's, it's good for the soul. I know some, not, not everybody sees it that way, but I do. Uh, it's a constant learning experience. And when, you're, when your people and your teams are doing well, uh, it's a reflection on what you've been able to accomplish and how you've been able to empower them to do that. Uh, and it's a real sense of accomplishment. And I am a lifelong learner. And, you know, being able to gain knowledge from people, from your teams, the situations they're in, that's stuff that you can bring with you and take with you wherever you go. I love that. It's kind of, you know, not only do you get to give, but you get something out of that, right? So that Absolutely. reciprocity from that cycle is, is very fulfilling. I appreciate that. All right, one of my favorite questions. I often hear from other leaders that business yeah. would be great if it weren't for that pesky people part. I'm curious, right. what are your thoughts about that? No, I mean, you know, I, I always hear the term P equals P, people equal problems. I had a, <laughs> I had a boss who used to tell me P equals P squared. Oh yeah. He didn't like people. <laughs> um, look at it 100% the other way. And I think, you know, people are really the greatest asset that you have. You know, their minds, their experiences, their perspectives, and that's what's going to drive an organization forward. So if you're not going to take the time to encourage empathy and build a culture of respect and understand what your people are doing, then, yeah, you're going to think people are problems. I want to change it to P equals S, people equals success. I love that. That's awesome. There's our soundbite, Mark. <laughs> P equals S. I love it. All right, let's say you had an entire group of leaders sitting here in front of you right now. What piece of advice about communication would you give to them? So, you know, I, I, I thought, I thought, think a lot about this kind of thing, about how do you communicate better and how, what can you tell, how do you tell other leaders to run the organization? Because you're really, you're really giving, you know, pretty insightful things to say, okay, you need to do X, Y, and Z to be a better leader, right? Yeah. And to lead on their, in their own way, they have to do things the way they, the way they see it, but there are some common threads that fill all of any good leader, right? They're, they're straightforward, right? They don't dance around issues. You tell people the way things are and what it has to be. You can do that in a very respectful way, but you need to be straightforward. You can't dance issues all the time. Yeah. Then you lose accountability, you lose respect. Uh, empathy is obviously, it's a big buzzword these days, but it is really, really important, right? It's knowing that everyone has their own demons. Everyone has their own things going on in their life outside of work. Uh, especially right now, we're really seeing it, right? But when you're, when you're, in, when you're in with your employees, you, you need to know that they, they need to know you care, right? And not sympathetic, but empathetic. Right? You, need, you, need, you need to be that way with them. Uh, and they need to see you in that way in order to, to be a successful leader. Uh, you need to be positive. The, the leader organization has to drive positivity. Uh, if the leader of the organization is always negative, there's not a very good chance the place is going to grow and it's going to continue to flourish. Uh, I'm a big fan of ethics because I'm a lawyer, uh, and, but I, I do speak a lot about ethics. And, you know, I, I use the phrase culture reach strategy, right, which everybody knows culture reach strategy. But I say, but ethics is your fork and your knife, right? So if you don't have the right ethics and the right and that starts from the top, and that's driven from the way you speak, the way you communicate, how accountable you are, how responsible you are, and all that drives from the top down. And when you have an organization where you're allowing toxicity, right? So I always say, if you have a toxic person, they have to go, right? Because if you don't make them go, 
then what it does is it erodes it erodes that culture, right? And what happens then? Then the fork and the knife get thrown out, and there's no ethics anymore. Mm -hmm. And with Enron's and all those other fun companies that have done so many great things over the years. <laughs> So those are kind of my, you know, my key drivers. I like to say, I, I think a good leader is down to earth, right? They have to, they have to be able to relate to the people. Yeah, if you don't connect, you're going to have a very difficult time influencing, for sure. Yeah. What other successful business leaders like yourself should be on the podcast? You know, who else should we be listening to? The other Mark Snydermans out there. There's only one of me. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> there's you know, the, uh, you know the one of one of uh, in my area. There's a, a really great leader uh, by the name of Leo Hemo from Vantage Real Estate Services. Uh, he started up a commercial real estate uh, service of his own uh, about two years ago, and he's just really been tearing it up and just doing really really well. And he has a great his people really like him. He has a great rapport with his people. And in a business where, you know, you're a sales leader, that's tough. Uh, I would also say, you know, even though it, it, it fa it's family, my brother is an amazing leader. His name oh, is, yeah. runs uh, car dealerships. Probably one of the premier, if not the premier, uh, turnaround guy in the car industry you'll ever find. Uh, and he's rare, a, a Wall Street, uh, was a Wall Street guy sit selling mutual funds turned into a car dealer. Wow. Not many like him. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I'll look forward to hunting those guys down to get them on the show. They sound like great yeah. guests. Yeah. All right. In one minute, please tell us about your favorite boss or teacher. Who's really influenced you? So I'm going to go way back to junior high school, which is a pretty long time ago. Yeah. Take uh, my high school, my junior high school history teacher. His name was uh, Mr. Belfield. He was probably the, he was the, the turning point. I mean, I was always a good student. I always did fine. But he was the one that showed us, uh, he treated it like it was a college level class in junior high school, uh, taught me how to outline, how to read, how to delve into subjects and how to really analyze things. And I would say he set me on the course that got me through everything, including I ended up going to where he, you know, he, he encouraged me to look at Dickinson College as his, where he was a, an alumni. And that's where I ended up going for my undergraduate. That's amazing that you have somebody in your corner for that long to be so influential at such an, yeah. you know, uh, formative age, right? Yeah, it was, it, he was, he was, a, he was a special one. That's great. Do you find yourself paying forward some of those, those uh, tips and tricks today or? Absolutely. Uh, I think paying, paying it forward is, is that's, that's what, that's what life is really about right now. Uh, especially in the COVID crisis, if you're not going to, help people out and be there for other people right now, when are you ever going to do it? <laughs> True story, right? And if you don't show up in these times, then what times do you show up? Right, exactly. Well, Mark, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show and hearing your ideas. You know, I love it. Straightforward, empathetic, be positive, right? Down to earth, connect with people. Absolutely. I think a lot of what you taught us today is, is really essential. Um, how can people find you if they want to reach out and learn more or just get to, sure. get to know you better? Uh, I'm easy to find, uh, SnydermanLawGroup.com, uh, or on my LinkedIn, it's just Mark Snyderman. You can find me Twitter, Instagram. I'm all over the place. Heck yes. Well, I'm sure somebody will reach out and say hi and thank you for your nuggets of wisdom out there. So thank you so much for the opportunity. It's an absolute pleasure having you on the show. And this is Stacey McKibben with the Master Communicator Podcast. For more ideas and insights, please do go check us out at www.conciliateamnet.com. And we do look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care.